Hey everybody, David and David here from PayItForward.com and UpPhone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about seven ways your wireless carrier is ripping you off, starting with by selling you phone insurance. Phone insurance. Sounds like a good idea. It's usually not. It's a ripoff. Phone insurance plans are as little as $6 a month, but yep. usually cost $10, $12, and I've seen them as high as $15. Yeah. Carriers have different tiers of these. It's, it doesn't seem like a lot when you're signing up for a cell phone plan, but if you look at the amount of money that you pay, so let's say it's 10 bucks a month, and the low end, pay 240 bucks over the course of two years, plus a deductible, which is what they're gonna charge you if anything goes wrong. So if anything goes wrong with the phone, you're paying 200, 250 bucks, depending on how complicated of a phone you have, what tier it's on. Mm -hmm. It's a big ripoff. Yeah, and he, once you start adding multiple phones, you have a big family. Mm -hmm. Huge. It's huge bills. Go on vacation. You can go to an Apple store with a broken phone and they will replace the phone for you for much less than the full retail price and for much less than these deductibles are when you combine them with the monthly fees. So like David said, families, Run, run for the hills with these yeah. things. Apple Care Plus, also, it's okay. Uh, it's yeah. a little bit less expensive than the phone insurance plans. You pay all for it all up front, yep. uh, but you probably don't need it. Yeah, and just be aware of those credit cards. Your credit card might have an extended warranty clause where it doubles the manufacturer warranty. I know that mine does. Mm -hmm. A lot of Visa cards do, American Express cards do, and a lot of them have drops and spills, and like if you break it within the first 90 days, even if you... Credit cards have things built into them that people don't really know about, so just be aware of that too. Yep, the second thing is trying to sell you mediocre accessories while you're in the store and checking out. Yeah, mediocre is putting it lightly. These accessories are pretty terrible. They could be 30 cents, right? like a screen protector, cost some carrier 30 cents, and they're charging it uh, $20 for you. Those, Rip off. Yeah. Expensive cases, expensive cables. You can just go to Amazon.com and get this stuff for less than ten dollars. Yeah, get all the same stuff. Don't let them sell you this. Probably stuff. Probably get better stuff on Amazon. Probably warranties, high quality stuff, best case. Yep. Scenario. The yes. third way the carriers rip you off is by charging for roaming. Roaming charges are still a thing in T-Mobile land. Yeah. And T-Mobile MVNO land, subcarrier yes. land. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to us, but if you look at T-Mobile's coverage map, it looks like there's coverage everywhere, but a lot of the places where there's coverage are roaming areas. And if you have a T-Mobile limited plan, for instance, they will give you 100 megabytes to use on their roaming areas, mm -hmm. and then you have, don't, you have to pay for more right. if you go over that 100 megabytes. So it's not really an unlimited data plan everywhere, it's an unlimited data plan in their areas. And then a lot of other places, it's not, so. Yeah, so just double check your plan and make sure that there are no roaming charges mm -hmm. associated with it. The next thing is pay-as-you-go plans where you pay for the minute or the message or the megabyte or gigabyte of data you use. Yeah, and these, these plans look good up front a lot of the time because they're very cheap, but when you add up the cost of each message or, or minute, maybe it's 25 cents a text message, 25 cents additional minute, it adds up really fast. Yes. And so if you use your phone at all, yeah. These are not a good idea. Yeah, I mean, this, these plans are really tailored for people who don't use their phone that much. They can make a call every now and again, send a text message every now and again. But yeah. for the average user, a pay-as-you-go plan is going to be way more expensive than, say, a, a prepaid plan. Yeah. It's $30 a month, and you get some data and limited minutes and unlimited messages. Yeah, and the headache factor of wondering, like, what's, what's my cell phone bill actually going to be at the end of the month? It's really nice to have a phone bill. For me, I have the Verizon 6 gig prepaid plan. My bill is $38 a month. I can use as much data as I want. It's kind of like an unlimited data plan, yep. never any overage charges. I think that the prepaid plans are the way to go, especially nowadays over the pay-as-you-go plans. Absolutely. The fourth way that wireless carriers rip you off are by charging those overages. Mm -hmm. Overage charges like my parents have this plan through Verizon. I'm going to have to talk to them about that. But they get charged $15 per gigabyte they go over on their Verizon plan. Yep. And that never really happens with them but why should they have to worry about it? Especially when there are plans that are cheaper a lot of the time that give you the ability to never have any data overcharge. Right, so like the six gigabyte prepaid plan, you, you, after you use that six gigabytes of high speed data, you can continue to use data at a lower speed. Right. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not gonna be as fast as 4G LTE, but it's good enough to get the job. Good enough, enough. Yeah. yeah. And who knows, maybe something breaks on a phone. I remember one time uh, Apple released a software update that unblocked uh, cell phones from downloading like very large files from the app store and the other software. So I burned through three gigabytes of data in my pocket one day as it was downloading a software update because there was a bug. Anyway, with a prepaid plan, you're never gonna get surprised yep. with a phone bill. And that's really cool. Yep, look out for those overage charges. Yep. The next way that wireless carriers rip you off 
are by selling you in a limited plan with a really low high-speed data cap. Yeah, so prepaid plans are the same as a limited plans now, pretty much, except of the high-speed data cap. So high-speed data cap means that you get to use 4G LTE data or 5G if you have that, up until you've used, let's say, six gigabytes on a prepaid plan or 16 on a prepaid or 22 on a limited data plan or 23. Yep unless you buy super expensive unlimited data plans that have right. higher data caps. Yeah, carriers are starting to catch on. They're really increasing that high-speed data cap, but there still are some plans out there with a 20 gigabyte high-speed data cap. And it's yeah, just... it's not a ton of data because if you really had an unlimited data plan with the speeds that 4G LTE can offer, you could just cancel your cable internet service at home and just mobile hotspot everything. You can mobile hotspot Netflix, you can know, but the truth is that we use way more data than an unlimited data plan would let us if we were to tether our other devices to it. Yep. So it's kind of a myth of the unlimited data plan. And the last way that wireless carriers rip you off is by charging you activation fees. They're charging us to activate our devices on their networks. Like we don't know that it happens when they type it into a computer and it automatically, I mean like, yeah. what are there, people? Yeah, a lot of the time you can actually get these activation fees waived if you sign up online. Uh, that's why we, re we recommend checking out Upphone. Buy that's a cell a phone website. plan online. Yeah, buy a cell phone plan online. You can skip the activation fees yeah. and the headaches of going to the store yeah. and the upsells, like the phone insurance and the accessories and everything else that they're going to try to sell you. It could save you thousands of dollars. Absolutely. So that's what, seven ways that wireless carriers can rip you off. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phone plans.